So let's do some sample reviews right now. This first one that we've got is about learning, you know, how to get government grants. So what's wrong with this site? Well, the, I didn't share this in the presentation portion, but there's movement up there. You can see, come aboard and get access to $4 trillion grant funding dollars worldwide, dot, dot. And then it re changes. So what's the problem here? And then this whole thing is moving up and down. You got the little rocket moving. Well, we've tested this. All right. And I will tell you that movement like this is gratuitous and lowers conversion rates anywhere from 8 to 12%. Why? Well, because we're literally animals. I go back to remember 50,000 years ago, we were in that cave, you know, eating that hunk of meat. Well, danger uh, signals were based on, you know, movement. If you think about it, they saw movement and it's like, oh my God, a bear, a bear is coming to eat me. Right. So every time there's movement, you're interrupting my thought process, you're creating cognitive friction, and you're interrupting what I'm focusing on. Do you really want me to be focusing on the rocket moving up and down? Do you really want me to focus on the words moving? No, this is gratuitous and adds no value whatsoever to my life as a visitor, okay? And then if we go a little further, I'm above the fold here on the desktop. There is no trust done here, okay? There's nothing that makes me feel good. And we go down here, watch, oh, and I'm sorry, enroll, um, at least in the United States, enroll, that's not how it's spelled. So, you know, you really need to make sure that there are no mistakes on the website. And I'll go a step further, okay? I don't know who wrote this, but if it's poorly written, nobody is going to want to sign up. Hi, if you're interested in undertaking this training, but want to view some of our video tutorials, click below and watch along. All right, that is a run on sentence. All right, and then they've got watch some of our training for free, big bold, then in a different font, they've got hi, if you're interested. And then underneath it, you will need to set up an account, but it's free to do. And once you're ready, you can enroll and finish your training. Oh my God. Okay. These are very poorly written sentences. And it, it's, it's really not about the visitor. And the thing's moving up and down because of what was happening earlier on. So it's twitching. I don't know if you can see this thing twitching up and down, but that is definitely distracting um, when we do this. All right. Do you need money? Pre-COVID, there was, there was a lot of grant money available but the numbers just got even better. This is not good English, folks, all right? Um, and I think I've made my point. But let's also talk about their calls to action. We've got enroll now, right? We've got watch to free video tutorials. So are these equal enroll and watch to free video tutorials? Probably not. This is a secondary call to action. So if I just look at the colors, red here and red there, we've made them equal. We've also overused red. See more about the training, all right? Again, that's a secondary call to action. Find out more, get started today, all right? This is one example of, of a poorly written website, all right? And then their trust, here's the trust, 52 student success, okay? Uh, $4.5 million successful grants to date, 100% uh, satisfaction, all right? I think the words could be a little bit better, but it's in the wrong place. This trust bar needed to be right below the main heading. It needed to be up here so that when I got here and I asked myself, how do I feel about this site? It's got some trust, which makes me feel a little bit better. This next one has similar issues. So in the top right-hand corner, there are things that are popping down constantly, all right? And if you look at them, my favorite, and hopefully this will show up soon, my favorite is one person's, okay, is, is doing this. So this is obviously, you know, again, just a template kind of base thing. It's also completely and totally unbelievable that this stuff is happening. And God forbid the person is sitting here for more than, you know, a minute and they're looking at those, 
because it repeats over and over and over again, all right, or it appears to, this is not credible. So if we look at this, helping you build a thriving online business, all right, I don't know how you do it. There's no trust in here. The trust, by the way, the trust bar is further down the page. So that exists. So we still have that issue, all right? And then uh, creating consistent revenue for your business. Um, that actually is written well. How many people can't see your offer because they cannot find them? All right, I, I can go with that, you know, but I might say, are people not seeing your offer? This just feels like it's a little bit long, okay? Our customers no longer struggle. That's actually good, all right? But what's interesting on this is, is we've got get access, get access, right? And then here's their trust, which I like their trust. I love the customer. This is what the customers say. And by the way, the proper uh, order of these for, for something is you have your unique selling proposition in your banner. You then have a trust, which is like this 5,000. You then have more about you. Then you have testimonials. So you want to make sure that you don't bunch all your trust in one place. You have to pepper your trust throughout the, uh, the page when they're going down this. So anyway, back to this site here, we, we're going through, you know, we, we're going with get access, get access, get access, all right, uh, get access, so they're consistent on here, get consulting, all right, and, and so I think that, that this is potentially a different path, and, and I'm not arguing whether this is right or wrong here, I will tell you that in the very top, if there was multiple things that I wanted them to do, I might have the choices up here that allow me to figure out what those are. But if get access is the primary call to action, then this is done correctly. But again, it needs to have trust. I'd really like to see a phone number. I'd really like to see the uh, uh, that trust bar a little bit below here. So hopefully this all gives you a flavor for you know, what it is we're looking for. So having said all of that, if you're interested in learning more, you can get a copy of my book, True Connections, Relationship Marketing in the Digital World. If you need help, you can give us a call and you're more than welcome to follow me on LinkedIn. Hopefully this was helpful and I wish you all the best of success in your course. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.